Hello, everybody. My name is Larry Sanger. I am co-founder of Wikipedia, and now I am the chief information officer of Evropedia. So I want to explain why I got involved with this new encyclopedia project. Um, I'm pretty passionate about it, and I hope I can sort of clarify what's so exciting to me about it. So we have, this is strange. Uh, I, I'll, I'll ignore the slides. You can just enjoy the pretty pictures. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple of differences between Ebrapedia and Wikipedia. I think that's a good place to begin. So um, Ebrapedia, first of all, focuses on um, well, anything at all. Um, I have an article about my left thumb on Everpedia. And um, you can make an article about yourself, and we strongly encourage you to do that. Another thing that, that uh, differs between Everpedia and Wikipedia is that Everpedia um, has a much more modern design sensibility. So uh, if you look at the editing platform, you'll see that it is really um, uh, WYSIWYG, really easy to use. It looks better on your phone, too. So I uh, um, first started advising the guys who started Everpedia in 2015, sort of informally. They wanted to get me on board. I wanted to get on board, but we couldn't really make a deal that would make it work. And um, I'd like to explain then um, how I got involved. So what happened was I, I've been wrestling with this problem of essentially how to improve on Wikipedia. I have thought for a long time there has to be a way to essentially uh, there has to be a way to um, make, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by the slides. <laughs> um, there has to be a way to improve on Wikipedia. Wikipedia could be, engage millions of people instead of tens of thousands. Um, and the quality of articles on Wikipedia are not nearly as good as there, as they could be. And we could have a zillion competing articles on each topic instead of just one canonical article. That's not how it should work. So I came up with the idea that what we really need is a single source of articles um, that, uh, not a source of articles, a collection of pointers to articles all around the world all, and um, to uh, rate the articles, right? And what if we were to share information about ourselves as raters? It would be possible to um, see if you looked at a page about France, for example, um, a list of the top 12 articles, and um, you could see the top rated articles according to Frenchmen. Uh, according to French women, according to uh, liberals, according to conservatives, according to Christians, according to Buddhists, whatever. So if such a thing existed, it, it, I think it would really change the world. But the reason that it hasn't existed is that there isn't a decentralized protocol that everybody feels comfortable contributing to. That's what really needs to exist. So I pitched this idea to the Everpedia crew just when they were really getting some amazing traction going. They needed to focus on that. And they were trying to get me on board a couple of years ago. They finally, though, called me um, last September and said, Larry, you really should come and work for us we're moving Everpedia to the blockchain, and this is going to enable you. Oh. 
<laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, you can just play the you can just play the the uh, the presentation again. <laughs> um, so um, it said. Um, we're thinking of moving the contents of Everpedia to the blockchain, and this would make it possible to execute the greater wiki vision. And I thought about it, and I thought, well, they're right. So um, that's right. It's, a, it's about three or four slides down there. Now, let's see here. So let me talk uh, for a couple of minutes, because I'm running low on time, about the platform. Um, it's run on EOS. So EOS, as you probably know, is going to launch in June. And so this means that we are going to be launching in June. We're going to be doing uh, a, a, an airdrop. So if you hold EOS um, off exchange, then you will, your, your wallet will, will be flush with a bit of IQ, as it's called. So IQ tokens um, will be earned or unlocked when you write an article um, or make an edit to an article. And uh, uh, holding tokens will give you the right to participate in the governance of the network. It isn't just going to be Everpedia either. It is going to be a number of different encyclopedias and just individuals who are contributing to a single blockchain. And so this means that we are going to have either the articles or pointers to articles, if not the articles themselves, all around the world. Um, <clears throat> and they're going to be hosted on a zillion different nodes, like any blockchain, but also IPFS, two different ways of, de of decentralizing the world's knowledge means that the world's knowledge will be uncensorable, which is huge, right? That's never happened before. So this is going to make it possible, the existence of a neutral protocol, which is leaderless, which anyone can contribute to from multiple different nodes will make it possible for all the world's intellectuals. Well, in intellectuals and just smart people generally will be able to come together for the first time in a way that isn't possible on Wikipedia, right? Uh, because you won't have to join just one community. You'll be able to go to a zillion different communities. And that's the only way that it will be possible to get all of those cats herded in the dire right direction and creating a truly neutral knowledge marketplace. So I'm excited by ideas. And this is why I'm really excited to join this team of um, really good programmers, designers, and advisors. And you're going to see some great things in the next year. So I, I hope you'll check us out at everpedia.org and ask for an account on our contact page. And I am out of time. Thank you very much. <laughs>